Dairy farmers across the country have been facing their share of challenges in recent years. From low prices to finding hired help to do the milking, it is not an easy business. Paul Liebenstein is a dairy producer from the Dundas, Minnesota area. His operation is 400 cows and they milk three times a day, making it 24-7. He says that dairy prices are more cyclical than ever and producers have to plan ahead. The good times are really good and the bad times are really bad. And um, so you've kind of got to learn that when it's good, maybe you should be paying down some debt and doing some of those things and, and don't get carried away, I guess. But uh, right now it's kind of, it's a little above break even and, and as far as the egg goes, it's probably as good as anything out there. The Minnesota dairy farmer says there simply is too much milk and not enough capacity to process the product. And that has been a growing problem. The processors will tell us well we can have more processing, but we have to have a market for the milk. Um, but at the same time, there hasn't been a whole lot of new processing brought online. Um, I think of all the little processing plants and whatnot that's been closed up over the last, you know, 20, 30 years or whatnot. And um, at least in, in Minnesota in the southeast area, there hasn't been any new plants. And we have some of the best dairymen, I would say, in the country here. And with fewer plants to process the milk, there's less competition from processors, and the milk has to be transported farther in many cases. It's never been easy being a dairy farmer, from getting up early to going to bed late at night. Now finding a processor to pick up your milk is yet another challenge, and prices have not been very good over the past few years. The good news is prices are better right now, and for dairy farmers, that is good news. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.